Because Independence Day might be tomorrow, but TVA Credit Union Ballpark is doing their own fireworks show tonight. And he joins us live from just down the road once again. John, what can people expect when they watch the Doughboys tonight and into the weekend? Well, Kelly, what we do know is that you can expect a big crowd and Preston Baker's here with me again to talk about tonight's game and beyond for the Doughboys. Such a big crowd tonight that we've had to make a little bit of changes. I guess we can call this slightly breaking news. Yeah, we're going to open the gates at 530 now. I know I said six earlier, but it's at 530 gates. So uh, be able to get everyone in early and get everyone having some fun here at the ballpark. All right, good to come in, hang out a little bit early. We know it's going to be a big fireworks show tonight. They're going to have to start getting set up for that soon, right? Yeah, and we, we've already marked off off down past the right field wall and they're going to get that thing set up here in the afternoon and get everything ready to go so we're able right when that game is done we shut the lights off and fireworks are happening all right so aim for left of home plate and you're going to have a direct view of the fireworks yep. going off yep if you go down the uh, third <laughs> baseline here you can look right out over right field and there's the fireworks well looking past tonight on friday night it's another big fun night here at the ballpark tell us a little bit about it yeah we're doing honky tonk night on uh, friday so you know wear your uh, cowboy hats wear your uh, cut off uh, jeans shorts if you got those and a lot of country music a lot of fun going on at the ballpark and hey that's always the goal you know have some fun listen to some good music and that's exactly what we're going to do on Friday night. Tell me about the process coming up with all these creative themes because it seems like there's one every other ball game here there's something fun and kind of wacky happening. That's something it's a whole team of people that do that and that's what we want to do we're trying to have fun at the ballpark and baseball's supposed to be a fun sport always talk about it being that child's game and being able to have fun at the ballpark find all these interesting new little things there where everyone has something they like to uh, do when they come out to the ballpark. It's exactly what we want to do, and it helps. It shows that our fans are here. Our fans love it, and we always have a ton of fan support, and we're really thankful for the fans here in Johnson City to be able to come out and support the Doughboys and have a good time while they're here. All right. D does that open things up for people who, who maybe don't even like baseball or know the rules of baseball? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I always, one of my things, I kind of joke, you know, you're really here for the fun and the baseball is kind of an afterthought, which, <laughs> you know, I mean, we're all here. We, we like baseball, but for a lot of people it is, hey, you know, I'm going to have a good time with my friends at the Doughboys game. It's like, maybe I'll learn baseball, but at the same time, there's so much going on that we don't have to, don't have to like baseball to still have a good time here. All right. And, you know, uh, I think one of the most fun things here at the ballpark, it's got to be Rocky the Bat Dog, right? That thing is a sensation. I mean, people go nuts for that dog when he runs out of the, of the out of the dugout. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, there's times where we'll have a guy pop out in the infield, and all of a sudden it's the biggest cheer of the game because Rocky runs out and picks up a bat. But actually really cool, too, we're doing a bobblehead giveaway for Rocky at the end of the season. So that'll be something, another one, long lines at the gate yeah. for that for sure. But, yeah, always fun to have Rocky. And Rocky and his, uh, and his handlers, Meg and Joe, are great people. They're really, I mean, help uh, big ambassadors for the Dobo boys and really like having a good time here at the ballpark as well. Absolutely. And it's so family friendly as well. This is something you can bring the whole family to and, and everyone's going to enjoy their evening. Oh, 100%. And that's why we keep the kids areas out. We got the big bounce houses out, got the cornhole boards, the Jenga towers. We've got everything to have fun at the ballpark. Keep keep your kids occupied for a few hours. You sit, sit back and relax and watch a baseball game. And that's the whole goal here. We want to have a good time. We want to watch some good baseball and we want to bring home a win at the end of the night. Absolutely. You know, you know, they're going to be loud tonight as well. If there's going to be as many people as we think, <laughs> it's going to be a noisy night at the ballpark. Oh, absolutely. And I think that's one of the things, talking to all the players, especially players and coaches, one of the biggest things with this ballpark is just how loud it gets and how excited these fans get into the game and how much of an advantage that is. Hey, we went 22 and 3 at home last year. Mm. So clearly the fans helped with that a big time and the fans coming out every single night. We had the, big, the biggest attendance in team history last year. The average attendance is bigger this year. So it's the fans just keep coming out in droves and the fans are huge in supporting this team. And it's one of our favorite things is just to see the fans, thank the fans and make sure they're having a good time here. All right, Preston. Well, good luck with that crowd tonight and thanks for joining us. And we want to see you out here screaming for the Doughboys tonight at seven o'clock. Gates open at 530 Doughboys and Flyboys. We got fireworks at the after the game. It's going to be a great time.